What's going on again, YouTube BD Kane 721? Two videos in the same day. I know it's crazy, especially for for me. I usually don't do more than one video per week. Sometimes I do two, but it just depends on what comes in the door. Lo and behold, ComC came through and sent me their package a little early. I thought I was getting it tomorrow, and I didn't think I would be around for it, but it came in today. The postal worker came into the suite today and delivered and dropped this off at my office, and I was pretty excited. So I just ripped open the, the package, taking out the box for the first time here. Here is the Come See, I guess, receipt that they give you. Um, I don't know. don't know if that's important or not. But this is the box. Here, I'm going to try to move this up a little bit so you can see it better. So they do a pretty good job at ComC packaging up their deliveries. So this is a box of cards that I ordered. Now, the way ComC works, uh oh, they gave me, I have to look at that a little bit more carefully. The way ComC works is that you can buy cards on their website and their inventory and you keep them in your account. For as long as you like, you can actually resell them. Um, I think there's even the auction feature nowadays. And then you, if you want them to be shipped to your house or wherever you are, you just make a request for shipment. And that's what I did. So maybe they couldn't fit this card in here. So that's why they um, put it in the second package. And actually, you know, the funny thing about this card is it's one of the most important cards of this little lot here. Um, for those of you that have been around with me long enough, know that 2011 Topps Chrome is a very special set for me. And one of the sets that I've been trying to complete ever since I started back in 2011 is the 2011 Topps Chrome Blue. I've completed the Atomic, the Sepia, and the Black. And now I'm trying to complete the Blue. The blue is the last one, other than the 2011 Topps Chrome Red set, which is not a set that I'm expecting to complete anytime soon. But of the main sets, the blue is the only set that I have left that I have yet to complete. This particular card here is a card that I is sort of the thorn in my side for so many years. And I'm glad that I was able to get this card in hand now. It's been many, many years, obviously, that I've been looking for this card. This is the Freddie Freeman 2011 Topps Chrome Blue uh, rookie card. I'm not 100% sure why they have these little this this little tag on here. I never had that before on a Com C order. It's kind of weird. I'm wondering if it has something to do with, well, it does say 53 of 99, and it's 53 of 99. So, I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. But, anyway, having this card in, in hand is tremendous at this point. Sorry I'm taking up too much time on this one card, but this is a, this is a big card now. Freddie Freeman is probably a Hall of Fame candidate. 2011, that wasn't a, wasn't something that people were talking about with him. But here are the other cards that I ordered from ComC or have been buying over the last... Boy, I probably this order probably spans the last year and a half. It goes back to the pandemic when I, when I started probably putting some cards on the, on the account. And if you don't order them with um, top loaders, you can see how they come. They all come in, in individual. Oh, they, they do have that on each one. Okay. That's something new. They never used to do that before. So I'm actually kind of glad that that's the case. I think they probably needed to do that for reasons of, I guess, security and other potential mistakes that they make as they're doing this process. So ComC has been going through the same thing that everybody else has been going through. Just slow orders, you know, PSA and all those other grading companies 
I have had challenges with getting orders out on time, and ComC is no different. So these are in no order. They're just I'm just going to rifle through them and show you the cards. These are all Topps Chrome cards, if I remember correctly, and maybe some other ones. I can actually see a finest right here, Miguel Cabrera. I think I ordered that for JT. I'm going to have to send that to him someday. Uh, and maybe some other ones in here. But most of these are Topps Chrome for my sets, the sets that, I'm, that I've been putting together. So like the green from 2015. Here's a Joe Panic, Willie Adamas for 2019 Topps Chrome Blue. Here's that finest of, um, of um, Miguel Cabrera. By the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this particular set, I only need one more card to complete this set, and I need it, and it's the Brandon Belt rookie card. And for the life of me, I can't find one. I've been looking for years on eBay and other sources. I have not been able to run across one. So if you guys see one out there, let me know. Eric Hosmer, 2015 blue, 2014 black, Tanner Rourke, 2019 blue, Patrick Wisdom, Justin Morneau, and Ciarte. Here's a Javi Baez from Gypsy Queen. This is a set that I completed in during the pandemic, so that'll go into the completed set. 2014 Sepia, Jose Reyes. 2019 Paul de Jong, Blue. Hechevaria for 2013 Sepia. 2012 Sepia of Matt Cain. Another finest of Joey Bart, rookie card. Um, oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, this is a set that I was putting together. You remember I completed this set not too long ago, had that contest on it. These are some of the cards. These are the cards that were in that binder that were empty. That I'm going to be able to fill those spots. That's what that is. Kipnis. Here's Andrew Bogarts from that finest set. Yonder Alonso, 2019. Here's a 2017 Matt Carpenter for blue. Pinto from 2014 Sepia. Sanchez, 2019 blue. Fielder for 2013 uh, Black, David Price, David Price, Jay Bruce, 2018 Blue, 2014 Solarte, uh, Keller, Hosmer, Root Neto Door, Jose Abreu, Jacob Nix, Mookie Betts, that's a nice one, for 2019 Blue. So you can see stacks and stacks of cards, three, three nice little stacks. Here's one of those reds that I'm putting together. They have really good prices on Com C for the reds, so I'm trying to grab them when I see them. Hosmer. Here's a bunch of purples for this year. So you can see I did a lot of buying on Com C for this year's purple. So that's nice. 2020 purple. We've got this Urkady. Urkady. Blake Snell, 2019 blue. That's a set I would love to complete. Probably won't complete it with the with the high prices on some of those guys. Here's more purples. Yeah, so here you go. So here's a here's just a random Tatis I bought on there. Probably bought this for like a quarter. This is the extreme team. I think this is an insert. Some more purple. Last stack here. A lot of purple. Well, actually, purple from 2020. There's a Pete Alonzo, Trey Mancini, 2019. There's a Dustin, or sorry, Cody Bellinger, Mankata, Lucas, Lucas Duda from 2012. Another finest of Lindor and Bellinger. Alex Wood. There's an Albies, 2020 purple. Chris Bryant, 2020 purple. Chapman. There's a Chapman from 2015 green. There's a nice one. Trent Grisham, rookie card from 2020 for 2020 purple. I was able to get that through Com C. Uh, some 2019 blues again. Montero, Chapman. There's a nice Corey Seager rookie cut from 2017 blue. There's a nice Walker Bueller purple. Matt Harvey. Green, 
2019 Albies Purple, Hunter Renfro 2019, Trey Turner 2019 Blue, Dustin May, that's a rookie card from 2020 Purple, and one of these last Gypsy Queens, Kyle Hendricks. So just a, a bunch and bunch of Chrome and other cards that I've been picking up over the last year and a half. Finally decided. Now, the great thing about Com C is they got this out pretty quick. I was expecting about two or three months waiting for these cards. But was able to get them a lot sooner than I had thought. And, of course, this card here is the cream of the crop. Probably, this this looks like it could be graded. It's, looks, it's really well-centered. Um, corners look relatively sharp. I'll take a closer look at this. I might send this away for grading someday. But pretty awesome card. Definitely the cream of the crop here. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for the long video. I wanted to at least put that on video so I could show it off and let you guys see what a Com C order looks like. Give me a thumbs up if you approve. And I will talk to you guys soon. See you.